Hey there everyone, this is Alcalbling Super Demo World. Just a little thing I need to talk about. First, see here, I'm trying to go to the house. It's not working. I'm trying to go to Sia, so it doesn't do. But if you go here, I was told you can go there. Once you go there once, you can return because you walk the path. So I would have saved seconds of time had I realized that. Hey there everyone, this is Alcal playing Super Demo World, Water World. We're in World 3, starting the world of the water zone. Something to find another path means going by the way you came and trying again. I'm trying to find another path means going back the way you came and trying again, huh? That sounds like some kind of hint. Oh, we're going downwards. Okay, and to this pipe with the bomb of some kind of ocean, we're swimming. This is Star World 2, pretty much. I mean, I'm sure things are gonna change soon enough. Got wow, that sleepy guy. Look at that guy. Yeah, he's so sleepy, he's running after me. Oh, we got a big old mud block. Here we go. Everyone is excited for the urchin parade. Well, I'm, you can see the cutoff. Well, I can see it. Maybe not in the recording. But you can clearly see that, like, there's no block in the very last uh, row. And so this implies... You could, oh, I can go above here. I don't know if I want to. I just kind of came here by... I, I got a dragon coin, so... I was rewarded for my insubordination. So, there we go. Did it. Video game. Alright. Eh. Did it. I got... The dragon coin. It was hidden here. It was very hidden. The most hidden money you could ever imagine. I don't know, there's a weird coin trail set up. I don't trust that. And then I got a one up. I don't trust that either. Whoosh! We're in Mario 3 now. You can do that. Did I. Mario 3 now. <laughs> like, I don't know. What does that mean? Like, I just kind of brup brup into a different, very similar room, but this could technically be secret exit. But I guess we'll see where, where this sends us. On the side path all the way to Milwaukee. Yeah, there's Waterworld 4. I think that's the secret exit that I just did. Maybe? Like, that is weird mid e secret eggplant I can't return there all right I'll just beat a level and see if I don't return a pipe if something fun happens oh whoops I was super confused I thought I was gonna go all the way straight down and yeah I just I got caught uh, na, 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 na. all right let's do this for real all right let's let's go down this thing do it for real. See what it looks like. Oh, whoa, dodge the sea life. Whoa, kapow. Dodge that sea life. Yo, that's right. I'm gonna go down this mud zone. I did it. Mud hill cleared. Alright, I'm not returning in that pot. I'm just going there. Uh, jump too late to have a chance to touch the gold thing. Just casual Super Mario Brothers world. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, four is up there. Let's do two. <laughs> We're in the one world, and there is my friend. Whoa. That that tuna was just surfing on the pipe, having a good time. All right. Check that out. Uh. That's right. Super style. Miss everything. Super style. Alright, well, I mean, this is just like a half little. Well, I mean, it's a purple buffer with generator and tide. It's just like we've got all the automatic processes we could think of. Well, I'm gonna play mostly automatic, so how about that? Yeah, that's right. I'm just gonna serve this fish until the end of time. Yeah, I'm missing out on sweet money and stuff. I don't, it doesn't matter. I don't need it. I'm just going through the wall around Mario 3. Check it. It's like a chicken without the leaves. It's like a hamster without the gills. It's like a frog without the horns and a 300 millimeter cannon shoes. It just, just doesn't count. This is it. It's World 3. <laughs> I mean, these are yellow levels. There's not really any ambiguity about where we're going in this world of our. We're in the water. We're all the water. 
Water Wodo. Wodo, my water. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry. We're underwater. We got Donkey Kong Country background. And we got a wall of jellyfish. Not sure what it expects us to do here. I guess we're supposed to just kind of go right here and be afraid. Like, this is... I've never before felt so much like I'm just going the wrong way. Wow, this is- oh, we can see, like, garbage tiles on the bottom because of too much scrolling, I guess. I don't know. Like, I think this is just Butter Bridge, but... No, I think this might be Cave, actually? I don't know. Doesn't matter. That's a fish. That fish doesn't care. All it knows is that it's trapped living in this maze of electric jellyfish forever, and it was born here, and it will die here. Uh, maybe it can live off of the gigantic jellyfish that have functioning... Well, maybe they're not functioning eyeballs. Maybe they're just there as a... As a threat for predators. Like, you know, like a, a fear sort of... Mechanism. Like a lot of, you know, insects and sea life actually have. Where they're not dangerous, but... You got a thing that makes them look dangerous. And predators get all turned up. But... They're actually dangerous to touch, though, what with being able to give, you know, the feelies of several voltage, but no amperage, so you're fine. Uh, you're not fine. You get shrunk if you get touched by one of these, and if you're already a small man, well, you get dead. <laughs> That's just nature. I like how we're just kind of stalling here. Yeah, we're just kind of hanging around, don't mind, mind us. And it's on purpose. Because it's so that you are forced to interact with these these poor little fishies that end up getting woken up by Mario's tumultuous swimming sounds. Like they're just trying to have a nap, man. You know, it's kind of late in the day. They had a harsh day, bacon. Oh, and then a the guy starts singing and being a real pest. It's like, what the heck, man? You're not helping, Charlie. You're doing the opposite of helping. I got a Mario 3 style panel though, so I'm gonna walk in the dark without even looking behind my back. Cause that's the kind of silly things I'm all up about. Maybe. And four remains a mystery. Let's do four, I guess, cause these levels were so short. Like, it's kind of weird, so we're probably gonna end with Water World 4, two exits, be afraid, go back in the pipe, not quite, we still got the Donkey Kong, Donk, has got two paths here, is this a maze, welcome to the watery maze, we got jellyfish in this haze, well I found the key, oh, you gotta get this out of here, and it's like, super unsafe, I still don't understand where they got the idea of if Mario is holding an object underwater, he loses all ability to steer for himself. I should have just stayed there and duck. Bad decision making process there on my end. You know, it's. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. There you go. It's not too hard here. Hold down. Then you go here. Then that guy's there. Just ignore him. I don't have a blurp coming at me this time, so that was safe. But that guy is like about as in the way as possible, so that was fun. All right, everyone's just kind of hanging out here. This is, I mean, the level structure here is extremely reminiscent of Forest of Illusion 2. Like, there are similarities. I gotta go and check up here. I mean, that's the path where that thing is. Oh, so I need to go in the pipe, I take it? Is there a pipe underneath? Because that's a... Uh... Oh, maybe you need to dunk your key in there. Because that's a sprite go through block, right? So I can just make a delivery there. Okay, watch out for that guy. Yeah, maybe. And maybe it's a thing where, like, you can't enter the thing while holding a thing, or you need to bring this and clear it away. Alright. Sure. You know what? As of now, nothing too ridiculous. Uh, one day I'll be able to swim. <laughs> when Oh, jeez, I wasn't looking at the screen there for, like, half a second, and I saw it and I just barely missed that fish. Why would I stop looking at the screen? That's a very good question. 
So... I feel as if... Well, let's press this and see what happens, but... Yeah, I need, like, a shell to get in there. Was there a turtle anywhere? There's a turtle up here. Wait, so how does that work then? Do you need to return back? Posts? I don't know. Oh, that's not where we go? Wait, what is this? Where are you supposed to go? I think I just killed myself here. Kind of by accident. I did it. Where do you go to beat the level? Like, what else is here? Alright, this just goes over there. Unless you're supposed to go over there too? So no matter what, you need to pop this open. But one of them asked that you ferry an object all over the place. I mean... Yeah, item babysitting had not had time to get de demonized yet, as of now. Oh boy. I mean, is it worth it trying to get this one back? No. But I did it anyways. There we go. Yeah, and that's gonna turn all of this into money because they're munchers. Just a bit more electric. And there's the end and we saw the silver dollar. So yeah, so you need to do that, but you need to also have the blue switch and the key in cow. That's how you get secret exit. I did it. I saw that whoosh it returns. But if I'm going to do that, I'm going to load up on artillery. And like, honestly, I think I need to go and get the shell or the silver pier, whatever, first. Because I need that shell to, to get the silver pier, right? And that needs to be done first. Because if I go in a pipe and uh, to get the shell and everything, Everything else resets, so I lose my key and I lose my blue P. Unless I double grab one of them? But I... Triple grabbing is strictly speaking... Like, if we're speaking in a literal sense, it is possible, but it is, like, implausible to the max. Georgia. So, take that into consideration. Thinking about it though, I can just press a silver P now. And like, clear the space I need now. And I don't need to think about it anymore. Like, I can just go ahead and go like, Ooh, I did it! And clear it away, so... So, that's cool. I can like, ease up the path a little bit here, that's fun. Um... Yeah, I might as well just do it one sip at a time then. Alright. So we go here. So, whoa! A blue pea switch. What kind of shenanigan is that? And then you're like, I'm Mario. I wobble about in stereo. That's a weird thing to claim. I guess I'll just put it here. Because when I get the key, I'll just dump it there. So yeah, now I just need to go all the way to the start, and then go all the way back here. We gotta wait after munchers and stuff. You see, the reason why I went and claimed a weapon for myself is to get hit in the face by a fish anyways. Look forward to it. I'm gonna try and kill as many guys as I can, so that if I get shrunk, because it might happen, um, at the very least, there'll be less problems in a way. This is not free here, this little part. Hey, not free, but I did it anyways, and that's what matters. You can still spin around, but I made it so it'd be not as relative to the speed of sound. That's sentence that made absolutely no sense. That's right, I got that fish while I'm holding an object. I did that. Alright, I'm just gonna dump you there. There we go. Just gonna go ahead and press you right now. Maybe that's a mistake. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna wait until it re-zaps. 
so I can step on the block there. I don't know if it's necessary, but I think it still is. I think it's Mebex that lets you enter pipes on the water, even when they're not flush with ground. So let's not take any chances. And I did it! I won! And now we unlock the house all over on the cliff! We did it! We're somewhere. We can get a Yoshi in a message box. Right! It's the Hints Ahoy box! Look at that! Uh! Oh wait, each oral level has two possible messages you can read. The one you get depends on this box exposition. So... The gag with this is that in theory... Every level might have two messages? But... Like, that's not, like, the easiest thing in the world to recreate, I feel like. Ah, dang it. So, because you're kind of limited in where it has to exist in space, like, I don't know how you'd get the other- Ooh, wait a second, there's a cloud way up there. What's that about? Why'd you have a cloud? Wait, blue? A blue shell? Why a blue shell here? Dang it, now I gotta do things. Did I just jettison? No. Alright, so what I might want to do is fly, land, fly. There we go. Then you get a blue shell? And then you get a blue shell refresh station. Alright, refueling my horse here. This is extremely on purpose. I wonder if the other message tells you, hey, you should fly. And I'm like, well, that's what I'm doing. That's something you can do. That is a verb available to you. I'm Mario. I'm full of shoes. Just open me up and pick what you want. That got weird real fast. <laughs> okay, secret exit. Um, do other houses have exit or is this a World 3 special? Because that's scary to think about and that's how you get to this pie. What's in this pipe? I'm just curious. Oh, that's World 7. Wow, so, okay. So that's a weird exit you might not expect because it lets you skip half the game. So I would believe it if this was supposed to be kind of hard to find because it's not necessary to beat. It's just a, like a speedrunning shortcut. So I'm not gonna go into a panic that other houses may have secret exit yet.